days of our lives round table, who is impersonating Gabby. Gabby faced another prison stint for murder, Lanny tried to get Eli to give up his own child, and John threatened his own this week in Salem. Our TV fanatics Jack Corey and Christine Orlando are joined by Stephanie and Fluff Eismem from my hourglass a days of our lives fan forum to debate if that was Gabby on the video, Lanny's appalling behavior, and if John will kill Will and Paul on days of our lives. Is someone impersonating Gabby on that video? And if so, who do you think it is? Stephanie, I think that someone is definitely impersonating Gabby. It's too easy to have her be the real murderer, and I don't think she would murder someone again after already spending time in jail and losing out on part of her daughter's life after she killed Nick. As for who the impersonator might be, my guess is that it's someone Vivian and Stefan hired. They've already tried to make Anna look guilty, and now that she is in the clear, they need to provide another distraction. Jack, that looked like an obvious setup to me. Plus the cops in Salem never get it right until at least the third try. With Chad laughing at the idea of it being Abby I have to assume she's the killer. Fluff eyes them. Someone is clearly impersonating Gabby but I'm not sure who. The person we saw in the video didn't look like Gabby. It could have been Vivian, Kate, or maybe a mentally ill Abby. Christine, it's certainly not Gabby. Anyone, besides the Salem PD, could tell it wasn't Gabby on that video. My two top choices are Vivian, or Abigail who may have had another mental breakdown when she learned that Andre betrayed her. Which is more appalling, that Lanny continues to lie to JJ, or that she told Eli that JJ would make a better father than he would to his own child. Stephanie, I think the lie is the more appalling of the two. Even though Eli knows the truth now, she is still trying to keep him away from his child in order to keep the rest of her world from caving in. JJ is going to find out at some point because I feel like Eli is the type of guy who, while he might go along with the lie at first, he will eventually want to be a father to his own child. Lanny is just prolonging the inevitable, and the longer she does, the worse it's going to be for JJ when he finally finds out. Jack, Lanny is selfish, period. She's using JJ's suicide attempt as an excuse to manipulate him into staying with her and doesn't care that her actions could cause him to have a setback in his mental health. Asking Eli to keep his mouth shut is stupid but at least she's not using his mental illness against him like she is with JJ. Fluff eyes them. They are both appalling but I could hardly believe Lanny having the audacity to tell Eli that everyone would be better off if JJ is the baby's father. Lanny is the only one who is better off if this lie continues. Christine, Lanny has turned into an absolutely horrible human being. She's using JJ's suicide attempt to make it appear as though she's protecting him, while trying to emotionally blackmail Eli into giving up his own child. I'm appalled by every word that comes out of her mouth. Was Valerie wrong to confront Lanny about the paternity of her pregnancy? Stephanie. If Valerie hadn't confronted her, I don't think Lanny ever would have told the truth. While it was wrong for Val to look at Lanny's medical records, she is the type of person Lanny needs in this situation. Valerie has the unique perspective of having been in Lanny's situation before, so her words about the consequences of lying definitely hold more weight than those of Lanny's other friends and acquaintances. Jack, no, she's the only one trying to protect Eli and JJ from Lanny's complete lack of conscience. Fluff eyes them, no. She wasn't. Valerie isn't trying to be cruel. She wants Lanny to do the right thing and be honest. Valerie knows from experience that lying about her son's paternity was a huge mistake. She is trying to keep Lanny from making the same mistake. Christine. Lanny is lucky that Valerie is a good person and came to her first. Valerie actually cares about everyone involved in this situation, including Lanny and JJ. If she didn't, she could have announced the truth to both Eli and JJ without ever giving Lanny the opportunity to come clean on her own. Do you think that John is really willing to kill Will and Paul in order to protect Marlena and fulfill his mission? Stephanie, I don't think that John wants to kill anyone, including Steve. Somehow, I think he is being brainwashed because everything he's been doing over the last few weeks is completely out of character. The only questions are by whom and why? Jack. I hope not. I hate this story almost as much as the Lanny mess and if it goes there then it's just as awful as when the last writers did this to Aiden. Fluff eyes them. I don't think so. There has to be more to this. He wouldn't kill his own son and Marlena's grandson for a mission. I thought the reason he agreed to go along with the mission was because his family was being threatened. Christine, I keep waiting for something that makes this storyline make sense, but as of yet that hasn't happened. I hope it does soon, or as Jack pointed out, this could turn into another aid in debacle. Would you like to see Trip paired with Claire, Sierra, or someone else entirely? Stephanie. I think it might be fun to see Sierra and Trip paired together. They both love people who don't love them back, and both of them are a bit rough around the edges. It would certainly be a welcome change from watching Sierra ranting and raving over Theo not loving her and fighting with Claire about it every time they're in a scene together. All I ask is that we get spared a love triangle involving all three of them. Jack, someone else. I'm tired of Claire and Sierra fighting over boys. Let's get Trip out of the middle. Fluff eyes them. I'm not sure yet. I like his friendship with both girls. At the moment there's no one else his age in Salem unless he wants to date an older woman. Christine. Ugh. I really like Trip, 
but Claire and Sierra are tiresome and annoying. If I had to choose, I'd say that Trip and Sierra could make the more interesting couple if written well, but please, no more triangles for this group. What, if anything, disappointed you this week in Salem? Stephanie, I was disappointed in Lanny asking Eli not to tell anyone he's the father of her baby and basically denying him a relationship with his own child. That's just not right no matter how good she thinks her intentions are in regards to JJ. Jack, all the contrived nonsense around the Lanny story. The fact that the writers still expect us to think this is a love story and that Lanny is anything but a sociopath. JJ substituting one wrong career for another and written out of character for cheap drama. John being violent for no apparent reason. And Brady and Eve's excuse for a relationship has to go to fluff them. The John and Steve Issa poisoning story. Christine, John poisoning his best friend, and threatening his son and step-grandson for some Issa mission. It's a horrible story and I can't wait until it's over. Also, Rafe seemed more concerned about covering his butt than the fact that his sister was about to be charged with murder. And let's not forget Chad and Abigail being so boring that they almost put me to sleep. What was your favorite quote, scene or storyline on this week's Days of Our Lives? Stephanie. I like the fact that several truths finally came out this week. We finally know how Tony Zern wound up at Andre's office and what Anna was doing there. Lanny also told Eli the truth within Valerie's 24-hour timeline instead of dragging it out and making more excuses not to. These storylines are moving forward, and that's a good thing. Jack, Gala dealing with Steve's illness were the best scenes of the week. I especially loved Marlena telling her she is strong. Fluff eyes them. Valerie confronting Lanny about her lies. Christine. Valerie telling Lanny things she refuses to hear. I only hope that the whole truth comes out soon. And on a smaller note, Trip refusing to break Sierra's trust, despite Claire's manipulative whining. Want to chat more about the happenings in Salem? Check out Jack Corey's Days of Our Lives review here at TV Fanatic.